versus smart wireless vision. This vision was created about six years ago when I was a field engineer testing wireless technologies in just about every process unit you can imagine. And since then, we've come a long way. We have a very large and exciting wireless portfolio introducing new field devices in 2009, like the four input uh, temperature transmitter, the wireless pH and conductivity transmitter, the uh, wireless valve position transmitter. We'll be talking about those a little bit more as well. We're also gonna be talking about how we can make every single wireless uh, heart device wireless using the new smart wireless thumb. And then also talking about, towards the end, a little about wireless control. What, one of the key messages that we'd like you to receive today is that wireless is ready for just about any application in your plant. So with that, let me introduce you to our product portfolio by telling you a little bit of a story. Here's a typical tank with product inputs and maybe some steam tracing going around it. And every instrument on this screen has been made wireless. I mentioned that we have a wireless pH and conductivity transmitter. I mentioned we have a wireless 648 temperature transmitter. We have um, a discrete transmitter connected to a float switch, okay? We also have our wireless pressure transmitters, okay? We even have um, a wireless uh, micromotion transmitter down here. So what we can do is take and make anything wireless. Part of the vision is that not only is there wireless field devices, but you also have this aspect of a wireless plant that provides like a Wi-Fi backbone that enables solutions like wireless cameras to cover your process units for both security as well as employee tracking and monitoring. And so what we can do is take all this information and integrate it through Delta V into your control systems as this it was wired information. One of the key developments over the past couple of years has been the Hu Institute for Human-Centered Design we're trying to make it easier to interact with our instruments. And a key example of that is if you notice on the screen, we have two instruments that are highlighted in red. Both these are wireless instruments. And so on this one, we're not getting a temperature reading. And so what would often happen is that we would have to make a call to the instrument shop and they'd have to go to the field and investigate the instrument. Well, with wireless, not only are you getting that process variable, you're also getting all of the diagnostics information. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up the screen on that. And so with the wireless diagnostics that we can see on this easy to use screen that our temperature transmitter has failed. There's this great big red light that says, hey, transmitter's not working, but we're still connected to the network. And so we're gonna go ahead and diagnose this instrument. This is just gonna take a minute to uh, bring up. But what happens is every time there's an update from the field, not only is that temperature or that pressure value coming across, but also all of the diagnostics information. And as we can see on this one, it tells us exactly what's happening. We've got a broken sensor here, okay? And so how this changes things is that instead of going to the field to diagnose the problem, you now know what the problem is and can go to the warehouse, grab the replacement parts, and then go back to the field. The other thing you can do is eliminate false positives. So that if it's actually a process that's running hot or cold, you can diagnose that it's not the instrument. It's a tremendous time savings as well as safety savings so there's less exposure to the process unit, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and collect this problem. It's just simply a uh, temperature sensor with a little switch in here that does the open and short on it. That'll take just a second to clear up. And we see our problem went away. Our process is operating correctly again, so we're gonna close that down. And once again, we have a well-working transmitter. Another example is oftentimes on the process, you might have like sampling valves that maybe due to human error, they get left open, okay? And you need to make sure that everything is closed before you start the process up. And what happens is if you don't have everything closed down, maybe you end up having a uh, spillage or an environmental issue. Well, we can de determine that valves are open and closed now using the new uh, smart wireless uh, valve uh, monitoring position indicator, okay? Should see on the screen that this went from red to closed, okay? All done wirelessly. <clears throat> so one of the next things I'd like to talk to you about is the introduction of our new smart wireless thumb. You know, right now we have several products that are wireless, but there's literally hundreds of products that are made to the heart specification. With the new smart wireless adapter, not only can we get all, make any heart device wireless, but once again, we get all the process variables and all the diagnostics out with it. You know, here in this Rex radar gauge, 
it's not natively wireless, but with the thumb, we're able to make it wireless. And on the screen here, you can see the value from the instrument, but it does more than just the main process variable. It sends all the process variables. So in this case, it's also communicating a rate of change that the transmitter is detecting as well. Okay? And so with the SmartWise thumb, we can make any, anything wireless. Another example is valves. There are literally a million valves installed today that have um, no diagnostics on them. Something happens in the field, like for example, a uh, control set point is set, but the valve loses the uh, pressure for the regulators, right? Happens all the time. But what happens? Absolutely nothing. It might be hours, might be days until you realize that there's an issue there. Issue a work order, send somebody out. Well, with the thumb, we can get all that diagnostics right into the screen. Now, one of the things that we believe with wireless is this isn't just integrated into Delta B. It needs to be easily integrated to any host system that's out there. In fact, this entire system is integrated to an Allen Bradley that's behind the screen here and pumped into just like a standard display using OPC. And so all that information in terms of like the valve position, is it responding to the set point, can be integrated as well so we can set these alarms. Likewise, when the solution is fixed, the problem goes away as well. Another big example is like a micromotion uh, Coriolis transmitter. One of the things that are done all the time is meter verification. Oftentimes it's part of a maintenance routine, right? If this is being used for custody transfer, you need to maintain that documentation. But one of the things that happens with wireless and using the thumb and using AMS is we can do that all automatically. Let me go ahead and pull up this screen here. We can see that through the thumb, we can do all our meter verifications as well. Takes a lot off your maintenance, automates the process so you can focus on solving real problems instead of documentation. Okay. One of the things I mentioned is that all this is integrated into a third-party non-Emerson host. Well, with that, using the thumb, you can go take the thumb and attach it to existing heart transmitters that are out in the field today that aren't actually connected up to a smart system. So for example, Hold on. I can bring up AMS. This is all the wireless devices that are here brought into AMS on a competitive host system. So it doesn't matter what host system you're using today, you can apply the smart wireless thumb, AMS, and get all that diagnostics back. Okay? The last thing I want to talk about is wireless control. A lot of folks say, Wireless Heart can't do one second update rates. Wireless Heart isn't ready for control. Well, one of the things that we've already done with the University of Texas is operate a real distillation column at one second update rates using Wireless Heart. And what we've done to illustrate that for you is we've created a one-tenth scale distillation column. If the bottom is kind of hard for some of you to see in the back, but we've got a valve coming in and a valve going out. We also have a heating element and four temperature input points, okay? And so what happens on this demo is we have process air coming in, and we've got our set point here in blue, and the lower valve controls the pressure in the vessel up, following the green line, and then down with the relief valve on the way out. And so as we see here, every two minutes we're oscillating the pressure, controlling the vessel in the uh, excuse me, controlling the pressure in the vessel. It's kind of a tongue teaser there. Like how many times can I say that fast? And this is only the first show of the night. <clears throat> so. We can do that. The other thing we can do is we can control the temperature in there. We're using the new 848 temperature transmitter and we're doing a temperature pro profile. This is exactly what's done on distillation columns today and we're doing it wireless. We've proven this in the field with wireless. So once again, we brought the entire smart wireless vision to life that was available uh, five, six years ago. We've introduced this massive product portfolio that allows you to do everything that you want today. I get all those additional monitoring points. We've induced a uh, smart wireless thumb, which allows you to make any heart instrument wireless or retrofit existing field devices and get all those diagnostics back so that you can have optimized maintenance routines. And then also we're poised for control.